I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to talk about how to find the limit of a factorial function. Well, it really depends on two things when it comes to finding the limit of a factorial function. One, how the function is set up, and two, what value is the independent variable approaching. So, for example, if you have the limit as n approaches infinity of n factorial, the idea here is you have to, to look at what it is approaching and how the function is set up. So in this particular case, you have a situation where it's just going to be infinity. Now, if you have the limit as n approaches infinity of, let's just say, n minus 1 factorial over n factorial, because this function is larger, this limit ends up being 0. But if, if you notice, I've used the infinity both times, but it doesn't have to be infinity all the time. So if you have limit as n approaches, let's just say, 5 of let's just use something a little bit different, n minus 2 factorial over n minus 1 factorial. What this allows you to do here is plug in 5 into both places for n, and you'll have as a result 5 minus 2 is 3, so it'll be 3 factorial over 5 minus 1 is 4 factorial, and what that allows you to do is expand the factorial, but at the end of the day, you'll have 3 times 2 times 1 over 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. The 3's, 2's, and 1's cancel, so you're left with 1 fourth. So in order to find the limit of a factorial function, you really have to determine what value that the independent variable is approaching and how you set up the factorials. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and these are a few examples on how to find the limit of a factorial function.